In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an interactive human skeleton template in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've created this. It doesn't look like the skeleton, but when I click on the show skeleton, then the skeleton will appear. And then depending on your requirement, you can just click any of this button so that particular section of the body or the skeleton will be highlighted. So let me just show you how it works. When I click on the show skeleton, you can see here the skeleton appears or it's visible now the skeleton and I want to see where the ribs are. I'll just click the ribs button. Can you see here the ribs can that selection is there. I want to see the skull when I click the skull. All the other selections will go off only that particular selection will there you can see here that you can see this is the skull and I want to see the for example the shoulder blade so then this is the shoulder blade I want to see the cervical vertebrae so whichever way you want whichever selection you want you can just click off a button and just I have added only few depending on your requirement you can add more or you can add less you can see here it is very good for the teachers and students to explain them the skeleton in more visual way and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon as well as share and like my channel powerpoint university you can join my whatsapp group with the help of this link it is also provided in the video description section and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so you can see here i have created this skeleton completely in powerpoint and i have just grouped it let me just ungroup this you can see here each one it's a different part you can see here something like this which i have created uh, in PowerPoint, but I'm not going to show you how I did that in PowerPoint because that is going to take a, a lot of time and then I've used this silhouette uh, Image also or design also which I'm going to use for the animation purpose So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to first group this select all and press ctrl G to group it and go to format just uh, say align center and align middle something like this and even this also what I'm going to do align center and align middle and this has to go at the back send to back okay and this one I'm going to add it at the top but I'm going to add it later now what we are going to do is I'm going to add the buttons uh, or the text where when I click each one particular button should show a specific part and it should name that one so let me just show you how what exactly I'm talking about. So go to insert shapes. I'm going to select a rectangle. You can select a rounded rectangle also, not a problem. And then shape outline, make it no outline and shape fill. You can give any light color. For example, I'm going to talk about the skull first. So go to insert text box, add type it, type the word skull. You can see here and bring it here center align you can see here something like this and any good font you can choose so i'm going to choose century gothic if you want you can make it bold also i'm going to reduce the size to uh, maybe 14 you can see here and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select this and press ctrl g to group it all right the next thing is I'm going to highlight the skull area for that go to insert shapes select the oval shape and just highlight the skull area you can see here something like this and shape outline you can make it yellow and you can increase the weight a little bit then go to the dashes and then select this one you can see here and then shape fill make it no fill before adding the animation it is very important to name each and every object of this particular slide so that it will help us to do the animation in a quick way so what i'm going to do you can see here this one this particular button i'm going to rename it i kind of a skull button i'll say and then this selection i will call it as a skull selection to do that one you have to go to the home you can see here selection select and just click on the selection pane and when i click this one it says a uh, 
group 34 so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select the text here whatever the text group 34 and i'm going to just say skull button you can see here that is a skull button and then i'm going to select this one and i'll call it as skull selection so one is skull button and one is skull selection so likewise a number of how many number of uh, buttons you need depending on your what kind of information you want to show uh, to the audience or to the the class so what i'm going to do for example the next part i'm going to talk about you know this one this area which is the neck area it is called let me just check what is it called cervical vertebrae so i'm just going to type this one and cervical vertebrae i hope the spelling is right and then you can see here when i click still is showing skill button sorry skull button and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select this one and i'm going to say cervical button you can see here cervical button and then let me just zoom in so you can see here this selection i'm going to duplicate press ctrl d to duplicate reduce the size you can see here something like this and then you just highlight the area which is here and this area it's called now the cervical selection so you have to keep on changing the names cervical selection so let me just zoom out so you can see here i have added two buttons and two selections so likewise you can add as many selections as you want uh, depending on your requirement now i'm going to add the third button ctrl d to duplicate and bring it here and this one i'm going to talk about the ribs you can see here so you know exactly where the ribs are so i'm just going to select this press ctrl d you can see here i'm just highlighting this section if you want you can just change the color of uh, this one also depending on your requirement if you feel that if you can change the color you can change it something like this and then again so this one instead of the cervical button it will be called as now ribs button all right and this one will be the rib selection all right so you can see here so i'm just going to give you only three examples here in this tutorial uh, so if you want you can create as many as you want depending on your requirement so what i'm going to do is uh, to add the animation first of all go to animations enable the animation pane you can see here uh, the first one is skull what happens when i click the skull this should come here so first of all i'm going to select this selection which is called the skull selection add animation i'm going to say appear okay and appear when it should appear when i click the skull button so double click this go to timings triggers start effect on click off what skull button just going to select the skull button and click ok so let me just show you now see here when i click the can you see here here the there's no you know hand icon is coming only for the skull button is coming so when i click you can see here it is coming let me just show you once again again when i click this will come something like this all right so like this we need to do add the animation for the rest of that one but again what happens here is uh, when i click the skull if you see here when i click the skull it uh, the skull is coming but this is also appearing so what i have to do i have to you know to uh, hide this one uh, du during the animation the the ribs part and the cervical vertebrae so what i'm going to do is example i'm going to select this one the ribs part add animation you can see here i'm going to say disappear and i'll just drag this down you can see here uh, under the skull button and i'll just say with previous so what exactly i'm talking about when i'm saying the when i click on the skill uh, sc uh, skull button only the skull selection should come and all should hide so again i'm just going to select this uh, cervical vertebrae again add animation you can see here disappear and i'm just going to drag this down and with previous i'm saying so how it works now you can see here all are visible when i click the skull so that is going off you can see here let me just show you once again when i click that goes off only that selection will be there 
Now the second animation which I have to do is when I click the cervical vertebrae, only the cervical vertebrae selection should come. Then the and the skull selection and the rib selection should go off. All right. So that kind of combination we need to give for each animation. So now I'm going to add the animation for the cervical vertebrae. So what happens here is I'm just going to select the cervical vertebrae. Let me just select the selection here and the add animation. I'm going to select appear and when it should appear when I click the cervical vertebrae button only. So again, double click this, go to timings, triggers, start effect on click on just you can see here cervical button do not select the cervical selection because cervical selection is this one so don't get confused select the cervical button and click ok you can see here something like this so if i play now when i click the skull you can see here the skull is coming when i click the cervical vertebrae cervical vertebrae is coming but the skull selection is not going off so again what we need to do is we need to add the exit animation for the skull as well as for the ribs so what i'm going to do here you can see here from the selection i can select the rib selection as well as the skull selection by holding the control key i can select multiple then i can go to add animation and i'm going to select disappear you can see here disappear so both this animation i'm going to drag to this part this trigger and then this should happen with previous so here if you see here at the time of skull selection, I'm, I'm disappearing ribs and cervical selection. And at time of cervical uh, selection, you can see here, I'm uh, just hiding the skull selection and the rib selection. So if I play the animation now, you can see here, skull, you can see here. So only that part only it's coming. So it will be very easy for the students to understand what exactly the cervical vertebrae is and the skull is now the same thing goes for the ribs so maybe by this time you have understand how this animation works with the help of the trigger so now again as i said that when i click on the ribs the uh, the rib selection should come so first of all i have to add the animation on the ribs so i'm just selecting this uh, the rib selection you can see here only this one and then what you need to do is again add animation up here double click this one timings triggers start effect on click on click off you can see here ribs button and click ok all right and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the cervical selection and the skull selection both from this one add animation i'm going to disappear and this two i'm going to bring it down and this one you have to make it with previous so you can see here the selection is very much clear the animation is clear for us now i have to add one more animation where at the beginning i don't want any selection to be there all right so i'm going to select all these three selections by holding the shift key you can see here then add animation just disappear just say disappear and do not bring this down and this one i'm going to make it with previous so what happens when i play you can see here no selection is visible now when i click the skull the skull is coming when i click the cervical vertebrae that is getting selected and when i click the ribs only that is getting selected so whichever way you want you can just click you can see here randomly anything you can click here all right so only that particular selection will be highlighted so now the next one or the last one which i want to do is the this animation should come first for example go to insert text box and i'm going to say show skeleton all right this one maybe i can center align i can give some different color here if you want increase the size the same font i'm going to give and then i'm just going to put it on top and remember this one i'm just going to format bring to front and then i'm going to align center align middle so i write it will look something like this and this animation i'm going to give as let me just go to the animation add animation i am going to select the more exit paths okay the more exit paths or you can just do from this one also i'm going to select wipe 
and why it should happen from Tom. It comes something like this. And when this should happen, when I click the show skeleton button. So I'm just double click this timings triggers start click on then i'm just going to select the you can see here text box show selection select uh, sorry show skeleton and click ok now when i do the slide show you can see here when i say show skeleton that skeleton will show and if i want to see the ribs i can just simply click the ribs I want to see the skull i can see the skull the cervical vertebrae so you can see here like this you can do a very interactive presentation which will help the teachers or the students to explain the skeleton in a more visual way